What is going on, everybody? It is Nelly B here, back with Aria today, guys. It has been a long time, a couple of months now, has it? <clears throat> I would but, say so. Maybe a little longer than that. Probably. Close to a year. It's got to be now. So, Aria, what are we doing today? <laughs> I don't know, man. Are we going to talk about zombies or... Yeah, let's talk about talk zombies. Talk about zombies. We'll talk about the new map. It just yeah, dropped. Do it. Yeah. How do you like it, man? Because I kind of got mixed feelings about it. Actually, I before it came out, I was not expecting to like it at all. Like, I did not want another remake. Um... I think we've been getting too many remakes. So before the map came out, I was not excited about it at all. Like, I did not look forward to it at really? all. Yeah. So after it came out, um, I played it. And honestly, it kind of surprised me because I like it a lot. And mm. I feel like it's because it's so different from the original Nuketown Zombies that it kind of stands on its own. It has yeah. its own personality. It has its own character. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just another remake. They've expanded yeah. on the map so much that it just, it's a different map now. Mm -hmm. It doesn't play you know? nearly the same as 2020. It doesn't. Like, it doesn't. Or whatever. The Nuketown Black Ops 2. But, Black Ops 2 Nuketown, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I, uh, I went into it. A little bit excited because I like Nuketown and I haven't played Nuketown in a couple of years now and I just thought it would bring back good memories and I now know that I shouldn't bring that into a map expectation because I don't I don't agree with the remakes really um I like the map it plays well I like building all of the wonder weapons in one game that's fun I like getting to high rounds but just I haven't even done the easter egg yet and that is mainly because of time constraints but i just when i do play and play for a couple hours i know i can go for it i'm just not that interested in it it i i haven't even seen a tutorial yet like it's that serious it's kind of weird honestly because i remember in black ops 3 it's just it was ridiculous i was on top of everything i was even making videos on my ps4 because you know, I like the game so much. And now I got a computer that can do it. And I'm not interested. It kind of, it honestly sucks. <laughs> I think it's the zombies, uh, the zombies fatigue. Yeah. I think I, it's getting to you. It, it got to me um, right before uh, Ancient Evil was released. Mm. That's one of the reasons why I, I didn't make a video on Ancient Evil. Like I didn't make a full on review on that map. Um, I was planning on doing it, but in order for me to make a review on a single map, I would have to keep playing it over and over again and you know, mm -hmm. taking notes on it and things like that. And I just couldn't bring myself to do it because I was just so tired of playing zombies at that point. And I just yeah. had to take a little break. You know, mm -hmm. you just kind of have to. I've been playing zombies for, you know, so many years now that it's yeah. like, Especially you got to take a break. YouTube videos on it yeah like it's it, even more intense if you're yeah. making videos on it yeah because like i mean the, i i get how people are still doing it and because it is interesting it's just i'm a different person now you know i have different expectations from this game and it isn't really living up to it so yeah yeah but it's still it is honestly a good map it plays well the wonder weapons are fun the, the story from what i can tell and from what i've rem what are, what i remember i like it it's it's enjoyable it's yeah i feel like the reason why it's good it's a good map is because it's it stands on its own and you know black ops 2 nuketown zombies was just you know, the multiplayer Nuketown kind of copied and pasted to Zombies. Yeah. And then it had a gimmick. It just, that was its only thing. It had a gimmick, and that was that it was simple. Yeah. And it had a very random element thrown in with the perks, you know, randomly dropping yeah. in from the sky on different rounds. That was its gimmick. It thrived on that gimmick. And since Alpha Omega doesn't have that gimmick, it's not as gimmicky. Um, mm -hmm. It stands on its own. 
it's a lot different. It's more complex. It has it has different layers to it. It's not yeah. just hey, yeah. look how long you can survive with, you know, you know, before you get Juggernaut fall from the sky. Mm-hmm. It's it's more based around skill. As yeah. Black Ops Four, I guess it kind of is if you want to take the whole perk system into consideration. I don't know though. Um. I can't really say much more about the map because honestly I, I haven't played it that much and considering that I've played it more than most other zombies maps on release and I got this game on release I pre-ordered and just after release I don't know wasn't I haven't really been playing that much but I want to it's just when a map releases it's the Black Ops 4 engine, I think. And I don't really want to talk about that a lot because, I mean, be, we've talked about it before. We've, at nauseum and, yeah, I don't know. It just, yeah, so I shouldn't even get into that. <laughs> but um, what is, what would you say is your favorite thing? Like, what does it bring to the table from Nuketown? Like, what is it upgrade? Well, it's not... <sighs> just that it's an upgrade it's an entirely different map yeah you know like when i played nuketown black ops 2 nuketown zombies yesterday Mm -hmm. and when i went back to play it it just i did not feel like there was really that much of a resemblance to alpha omega like when i play alpha omega i don't think i'm in nuketown yeah you know it feels like a different map and i feel like you know since it's more complex And the layout of the map is so well designed and the wonder weapons are so fun to use. Mm -hmm. It just becomes so much better than the original Nuketown. Most importantly, I think it's the wonder weapons. The wonder weapons, the the ray guns are so much fun. Mm -hmm. And they're not really that hard to get. I mean... And they're not that hard to get. And they're so much fun. It's... Yes. They're easy to build. It's... there's really no way to say it. They're just a fun, you know, they're just fun wonder weapons. I think my favorite has to be the electric one. Uh, that kind of changed the zombies and it doesn't really have like an ammo count. It replenishes ammo and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. I, like, I think that's my favorite. I, I also think it's the easiest one to get. So that's why I like it. But yeah, it is the easiest one to get, and it's also I feel like it's the most fun. Mm-hmm. Like there's no there's no ammo count. You have infinite ammo basically. Yeah, I think the shotgun one is is kind of fun too. I haven't taken that past like round twenty five yet. My second but favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I. What are the other ones? Um... There's the blue one. The it's a dual wield, and oh, that one is super fun. Yeah. Yeah, that one is, is super fun. Is it is it good though? I can't remember if it was like because I took. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. It has a really high fire rate though. Yeah, the, the fire rate. The I'm sorry, the fire rate is really fast. So, you know, you just kind of it kind of feels like the PPSH in World at War. Yeah, you kind of shred through the zombies, and it, it's it's really fun. And the last one is the uh, rocket launcher one, right? Or grenade launcher thingy the orange one yeah 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 the explosive one mm-hmm. yeah that yeah. that one that one is really good it is that one is really good that one is really really good yeah uh, i i've heard some of the high rounders use that one all right i'm gonna have to try to use that one during the easter egg then yeah hold up more. it doesn't have a whole lot of ammo though so you got to kind of be conservative yeah. but um it's uh it doesn't go without you know having some gripes i i don't i don't really like the uh the pyramid room i don't really get what's going on there um i just it's not really that good for training or really anything other than getting parts for the wonder weapons and probably the easter egg i'd assume but are you talking about the entire underground section of the map or just no, the pyramid room? Just the pyramid room. I don't oh, really okay. like that section. I mean, because I have to be in there a lot, you know, for building stuff and getting yeah. uh, upgrades and ray guns and stuff. And I just, I think it could have been done better. 
I don't know. <laughs> but what what would you say is like your least favorite thing about this map? What do you like not care for? It could do without. Um, I think the number pad um, being a little finicky with consoles. Mm. You know, if you play on PS4 and you switch to PC and you start messing with the number pads, you realize how much easier it is on PC mm. to do that. And so much of the Easter egg and so much of the map relies on that single thing, that single element in the yeah. map. That if it's not well designed, if it's kind of finicky to use and a little annoying at times, it's going to drive you insane because yeah. you're going to use that a lot. Okay, that number pad, you live and die by how you use that. You know, there's over okay. like, I think there's over 40, 50 codes that you can use for a lot of different things. Jesus. So you can do a lot with that thing. And if you're playing on console, it's going to annoy you a lot. But if you play on PC, you get a huge advantage. Yeah, I never even considered that because I'm on PC and I didn't even think like, oh, it's just point and click. I didn't even think like, right. oh, if I had a PS4 controller, this would suck. I didn't think of that. Yeah, it really does suck if you play on console, unfortunately. Yeah, now that I think of that, I, I would be pretty pissed. Yeah. <clears throat> so, the characters. Now, I'm a little confused on this as well. I I think I heard something about, like, two different types of char character each being playable is that true or is it just uh yeah you can play as the ultimus version of our four characters or you can play as the premise versions okay um and i feel like that's a really good thing that's yeah that is very that's, interesting like that's really interesting if you go and listen to the interactions between the ultimus and the premise crew um the different character interactions you know it, it's really interesting it's yeah you know it's very interesting dichotomy there i gotta look up a video on that because i've seen some clips on twitter and they're pretty freaking yeah. hilarious but i need to watch like yeah. a five minute clip of them just going back and forth that would be pretty cool yeah i see i didn't know i i haven't played the map enough i need to play the map more i should have been more prepared this this sucks <laughs> but it's um, a good map you definitely should play it yeah more. i just yeah. Even, like, the story, like, because I'm not, I've never been too interested in the, in the story to where I can go into, like, a chat room and talk about it and stuff. I don't, it's just always been too confusing for me. I know I have small brain, but it's just. It's too confusing for everybody. Like, really? I don't know what's going on in the story either. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in the story either. Yeah, it's so complicated now. There's, it's like, it's a really deep rabbit hole yeah and you know there's so many different timelines and that's what happens when you bring in the multiverse you know mm -hmm. it just becomes all it just becomes so confusing that you know it just the casual players are not going to pay attention to the story yeah. what i do yeah. like about the story um are mostly the grounded moments the basically the the moments between the characters that are more grounded in reality mm -hmm. you know like when you're doing the Easter egg, there towards the end, there's a moment if you play as um, if you play as Ultimus Dempsey, you basically resurrect um, Peter McCain, oh, and shit. Peter McCain and <clears throat> Peter McCain and Dempsey, the Ultimus Dempsey, they have this, you know, this very short, brief interaction. Yeah, they have like a very short conversation, and it's beautiful. It's so nice to see. Because it's very grounded in reality. You know, they have a little nice moment because they used to be comrades and Tank Dempsey, you know, was trying to find Peter McCain, but he couldn't find him and Peter yeah. McCain was... And then he died and, you know, it's nice to see that they go back to that and acknowledge yeah. that these guys were actually friends at some point. They mm -hmm. probably really cared about each other. Yeah. See, for, peop for fans of those characters i feel like that would be great but from the very beginning ever since i knew there was a story from like i think it was origins i just haven't been able to keep up i'm that you know 
simple minded. It's just no, you're not really understand you're, it. You're, you're you're not simple minded. It's just that it's. I feel like Jimmy Zelinsky, uh, who was the original um, project manager for Zombies, he kind of had no idea what he was doing, so he just made things overly complicated. And then yeah. when Blundell came along, he had to put the pieces together and not only make sense out of everything, but he had to make it good. And, mm -hmm. and that's a very tough job. And yeah. that's why he had to introduce the multiverse and... While doing so, he even kind of made it more complicated. So now it's like, okay, it's the zombie storyline kind of feels like, especially, you know, the Ether storyline, it feels like a sick dog that just needs to be put down. You know, like, Damn. it's like, okay, we're, it's like, we're done. Like, it's, let's just <laughs> wrap it up. It's too complicated. Yeah. Now. I feel you like know? Revelations should have been the ending. Like, I get that people like the characters, but but it should have ended in Black Ops 3. BO4 should have been a completely new story, I think. More yes. fleshed out. I agree, because it was it was on the climax. Yeah, I know? could have and seen like, that doing really well. Yeah, it, it should have ended then. You know? Like, if you wanted to give us some cool throwbacks, like, to start the year off, like, instead of an actual story-driven map, just give us like call of the dead like people are thinking now why couldn't yeah. they just given us call of the dead and mob of the dead that would have been dope <laughs> yeah um i don't know if i should talk about this there have been i guess we'll just you know give a spoiler warning for dlc4 there's some some leaks coming out that that call of the dead might be dlc4 yeah yeah i i, I mean we can i don't know i feel like I feel like everyone knows by now. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I I I I try to be a part of the community and I try to go on the Treyarch posts and see what's happening and all the Charlie Intel stuff, but I I can't interact with the people on there. Some of them are just ridiculous. Oh and yeah. I know it's not all of them cuz obviously you're part of the community and you're no nothing like those people. It's just certain I people stand that. out, and it's ridiculous. I, I had an interaction just yesterday, and I was like, "Listen, yeah, I saw if that. they're gonna remake it, <laughs> I wouldn't mind." Because me personally, I didn't play Call of the Dead or Shangri La when Black Ops One came out. I didn't own the game. I didn't have a console, so only play only way I could play was at my uncle's, and that's what my cousins like to play, or yeah. didn't like to play, and yeah. I would be fine, honestly, with. Not as DLC four. Now that I think about it, I think maybe that guy screams and sends into me. But it's DLC four, <laughs> give us something new. But if they want to remake Call of the Dead, I, go ahead. I don't care. I'm. I bought the game already. I'm already. Go I'm gonna get it anyways. So. <sighs> um, well, my prediction, and this is just you know a theory. I don't. I don't know anything really. Um. I think DLC 4 is going to be a Call of the Dead remake, but for the boss fight, we're probably going to be teleported into an arena where it's kind of like Revelations where, um, you know, there's a lot of, you know, boss zombies and there's a lot going on and it's, yeah. it's kind of a clusterfuck mm. and it feels like a great war. Yeah. Because if they don't do a great war, then that would be kind of anti, you know, climactic. Yeah. And, I don't think anybody wants that, you know, not after mm -hmm. what we got with Revelations and how anticlimactic that map was. Mm -hmm. So this one has to, like, this DLC, DLC 4, it has to stick the landing. Yes. Okay? Agreed. And if it doesn't, then it's just, I feel like zombies will be, you know, too far gone and it'll be mm -hmm. way beyond repair. Yeah, I feel like that too. It's just, Black Ops 5... Oh God! Uh, yeah, mm, let's not get <laughs> please no. It's just, I can't get excited for these games anymore because what they're I I don't know I don't know the development process but I it definitely has something to do with me. It's not something that I could change. I can't even really describe why I'm not really liking these games anymore because I'm just not interested okay, I'm gonna enough ask you, to care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question, okay? 
do you think it would be better if the if Black Ops would just be a trilogy and not if we didn't have Black Ops 4? Yes. yes. I agree. 100%. I think Black Ops should have stayed a trilogy just like, you know, Modern Warfare. Yeah. Um just it would have just perfectly with Call of Duty and what Call of Duty does, you know. Yeah, just leave it, just end it while it's good. You know, because if you keep going, people are going to get tired of it. And then when you end it, people are not going to look back and think of that franchise as something nostalgic or something good. Yeah. You know, people are going to look at it and go, okay, it went too long. It went for way too long. And you know, it should have ended then or. Yeah. The numbers don't yeah. really, the higher the number, the less special the, the game seems, it seems like. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I agree but um yeah uh back to the map <laughs> back to the map um have you done the easter egg yet yes i have do you mind explaining how you feel about that because i'm i as i said i didn't do it i haven't seen anybody do it and i'm interested as to what your personal experience was trying to complete that was it easy was it difficult like it Walk wasn't difficult. That. It wasn't difficult at all. Um, honestly, I would say it's the second best Easter egg in Black Ops 4 um, behind Dead of the Night. Really? I think people didn't like Dead of the Night. I mean, I, I love Dead of the Night. I love that map. It's my favorite map in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Um, and yeah, it's a good That's map. mostly... <laughs> Yeah, and that's mostly because of the Easter egg. I feel like the Easter egg is so well designed in that map. And Alpha Omega is also designed very, very well. It's very well done. Mm. Um, I just wish there were less interactions with the number pad. I feel like that's the one yeah. thing that kind of ruins it for me. Um, it's the, that damn keypad that you have to just keep messing with over and over again. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like that's one negative thing. And uh, uh, honestly, I would say, um, I would say the boss fight was a little bit lackluster too. But I'm okay with that. Trying you know? to, because I think I did see the boss fight, but I'm trying to remember it. Um, like what? What do you do? Um, basically, you don't really fight a boss. You don't really fight Avogadro. Oh um, yeah, you just, just hit him, right? couple times you kind of like there there are these soul canisters and you fill them up by killing mannequin zombies mm. and then you stun avogadro uh he starts like kind of like clenching his knees or something and then you hit him and then you kind of push him towards the uh, apd device the the big pyramid device and then okay. he goes in there and then that's it mm. yeah. it's right. a little lackluster but it's still kind of chaotic like it has that boss fight feel to it you don't really fight the boss that much even yeah. though he is kind of a big threat if you get close to him he's very dangerous but you're mostly fighting the zombies you're just yeah. fighting the zombies for the most part okay you see mm, i'll have to play it first and try it out and try and complete it before i give my final opinion but that doesn't yeah. sound too uh too difficult or too strenuous <laughs> It's not. It, it really isn't. I did it on my second attempt, and that's only because my first attempt on round 18, I got a, um, what was it called? I got a dog round, but it was bugged. It was an infinite dog round. Mm -hmm. I could not get out of it, so I had to quit the game. Dang, yeah. I haven't had anything like, ha happen like that happen. I, I think um one game, I sat in like a corner for like five straight minutes waiting for a dog to come get me, but... I found it it was stuck and i don't know yeah. that was weird but other than that i haven't yeah. really had any problems with the map okay so what do you think of the map <laughs> um what do i think of the map i i like it i think it is one of the better maps in black ops 4 I'm just trying to think back to the other ones because um i think the ones at the start were some of the more disappointing ones um, oh yes what else there's 
what was the... if you were to if you were to rank your maps you know all the maps in black ops 4 how would that go i feel like nine and dead of the night have to be up towards the top um as well as this map top okay. three um four would go to uh ancient evil and absolutely then, let's see this is dlc three right two yeah three yeah. This is DLC okay three. um so that just leaves blood of the dead and voyage and classified classified right classified yeah. Classifieds four. Sorry, <laughs> classifieds four. Uh, Ancient Evil is five. Uh, Blood of the Dead, uh, Voyage. They're really interchangeable for me because I don't really play them either very often. Okay, so let me let me ask you this: Why did you put Ancient Evil so low? What was it that? Because it's... I know community like the the entire zombies community kind of like worships that map. Mm. So what was it that didn't didn't work for you? Um, in ancient evil. It was big and confusing to me. When it was okay. I I always get the feeling when going into a new map like is this map is this map going to be too confusing or too big or too much for me to really understand like it looks good i like the way it looks i think it's one of the better looking maps in black ops 4 but mm -hmm. it's it's got too much going on for me and every time i play a map i get the feeling for the first time that is this map going to be ostracized am i not going to feel like this is you know something that i can feel comfortable playing like it honestly kind of gives me anxiety just a little bit it's it's that bad <laughs> but in i i remember feeling that way with garad zetsubo uh dreisendrock and i love well not so much zetsubo but i like those maps i like those maps very much and i also felt the same way with this map and that has carried over to every time i've played and it just doesn't feel right i mean it's like I said, it looks really good, and that's the only reason why it's not in last place. But other than that, I don't. Mm. Yeah, I like I the wonder like... weapons. The wonder weapons are nice, but everything else is just too much for me. Yeah, I feel like you and I kind of have the same. I would say the similar, you know, place for ancient evil in our rankings. Um, like ancient evil for me is not the best map in Black Ops Four, mm -hmm. um, because. I feel like a lot of the appeal with the map is just the way it looks. Yeah. You know, it's the looks of the map. Mm -hmm. It's how, you know, it's how grand everything is. Like, yeah. you know, you're you're trying to explore Greek mythology with this map, and Greek mythology is very rich. So automatically, it just, this map would look better. Just mm -hmm. because it it, exactly. it has roots in in Greek mythology, and but when it comes to gameplay, I'm really not impressed with it. Okay, it's not it's nothing impressive. It doesn't, as far as gameplay, it it's not the best map in Black Ops Four for You're me right. at least. You're right. I agree. Yeah, because there are there are a lot of things in there that I don't like. Like I don't like the boss zombies in that map. Like I don't like the Gaganese, the the four armed brutes. Mm. I don't like them. They're just a bullet sponge. They bring nothing to the table. I feel like you that know? too. I I like like it, it goes back to how they look. I like how they look. I also like the shield. I don't really like how the shield works, but I like how it looks. Exactly. It's really presentable and very well done and yeah you know like you said grandiose and i think that's all it has going for it honestly yeah it's it's not like der eisendraha like people compared it to der eisendraha but der eisendraha was also grandiose but uh, the gameplay in that game was extremely fun yeah. it was just beyond anything that you could imagine it was it was just a very innovative and it, different map it flowed very very well and that's something I, yes. I don't usually think about and it's because if if you do 
if you do the flow and the gameplay well, it, it kind of goes under the radar, but if you do it really well, it stands out. And Der Eisendrack is a good example of that. It does, but Ancient Evil, when it comes to, you know, like you said, the flow of the map, Ancient Evil does not have a good flow. Mm -hmm. And that's mostly because in order for you to, you know, keep, keep going forward and you know, you want to get set up and you want to make progress in the map. And in order for you to do that, you have to do the challenges mm -hmm. and the challenges are random. Yeah. Okay. And since the challenges are random and different every game, and some of them are kind of annoying and tedious, it, it makes that flow kind of inconsistent, you know, like Agreed. you're not, you're no longer relying on your skill. You're, you're kind of relying on your luck as well mm -hmm. and i don't really like that it's yeah. kind of inconsistent yeah that's luck in something like zombies is it, it could work but if you're if it's too if it's not really intentional then it kind of doesn't work it, yeah it, the, it can but it usually doesn't the random elements and you know rng and things like that worked a lot better uh, back in the Black Ops 1 and World at War days when everything was so simple mm -hmm. that you just kind of... The only thing that could make it more exciting was that random element. Like yeah. Nuketown Zombies. You know, we were talking about Nuketown Zombies. And that map, The really the only thing that it has going for it is that gimmick of that random element. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing that makes it exciting. If it didn't have that... It would be boring as shit. It would exactly. be more boring than Nocturne Toten because it's just a simple map. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't know. That's kind of why I like Nine too. Because, I, it, sorry if I'm being a normie here. I feel like that's where I land though when I'm talking about zombies with the zombies community. Is I'm kind of the normie. I like to, you know, know what I'm doing and not have to you know remember a code or something like that and the repetitiveness of it is something you're basically that... you're basically a filthy casual mm -hmm. <laughs> the repetitive the repetitiveness of mm, probably why i'm bad at multiplayer is because i'm not good with the you know randomness and every person acts differently so you got to know how to act and in zombies i like a straight you know it's fine if I got to do a lot of stuff, but if that stuff has random integral to it, randomness integral to it, it doesn't really work for me because I can't really, I, it gets, it gets too stressful for me. I don't, I don't like that. Yeah. You like consistency mm -hmm. is basically, yeah. Yeah. Same. Yeah, I like patterns because I can keep doing the same exact thing. I don't have to try and find a different way around something like, you know, talking about multiplayer going back to that example i can't you know try and flank someone and you know i'm flanking someone the whole game but then I, I try and go middle and i'm just completely thrown off because it's something new and yeah anyways <laughs> probably a yeah i'm not really much but... of a bunch of a multiplayer guy yeah uh yeah i don't really i don't think i'm even gonna buy the next the next Call of Duty. Modern it Warfare. looks very yeah, Modern Warfare, the reboot. It looks incredible. It looks very good. Yeah, it does. But I just I'm not a multiplayer guy. Like I don't think yeah. I'm gonna spend sixty dollars on that game. Because yeah. I don't feel like I'm gonna get enough out of it. Well, when I said multiplayer, I kinda meant like in general, like Overwatch general, yeah. and other Call of Duties too. I I try to stay away from multiplayer, but it just I want to be good, and I know I never will be. And it's the temptation to be good that keeps me going. But I know I, I, I feel like I just get worse, honestly. But it's probably yeah, just because I'm. I just see. I kind of gave curve. up, to be honest. Yeah, I did too. I, I play for challenges, and you know, try and get a, a few challenges done for skins and stuff. But yeah. Anyways, uh, back to zombies. The repetitiveness of it. Uh, is really what intrigues me because I can, you know, easily train myself to do something. And then after that, if the map is fun to play around in and run through, 
then it's a good map for me because I like to train. I like to get to high rounds. I like to go for headshots and stuff like that. You know, farm XP and Divi uh, oof, almost a divinium. Uh, what are those things? Plasma. Plasma. Mm -hmm. Nimoleon plasma. Mm -hmm. I like to make the game easier. Not, not all the time. Black Ops 3 was a little bit too excessive with it, but I feel like Black Ops 4... Uh, never mind. I'm not even going to say that because <laughs> it's it's a bad system. Black Ops 4 system is bad. It is. The, it definitely is. Because I, I, <laughs> I only use about five different ones you know, every so often. And I like those ones. Those ones are good, but everything else is just too much. There's too much of it. Yeah. But, um, definitely. yeah. How, how would you rank the maps? Um, honestly, I would go, I would, I would go De dead of the night would be my first. It's my favorite. Really? Yeah. Dead of the night is awesome. I love that map so much. It's the only Easter egg that I've ever, uh, speed run mm -hmm. in black ops four. It's dead of the night. How well did, did you do? I got 47 minutes. Ooh. Um, it's, it, well, I've seen people do it in less than 40 so yeah. i wasn't That's too quick. impressed with myself i'm impressed dude i i'm probably gonna get on and do like two hours for for it yeah, yeah. so i would say alpha omega would be my number two hmm. actually no i would say i would say nine would be my number two then alpha omega hmm. then ancient evil would be my number four number five would be classified okay uh, number six would be blood of the dead and number seven would be voyage okay did, did, did i get all the maps yeah why uh, is classified number five is that is that a little pun you like to make or is there a reason behind that no no it, it's not it's really i mean classified i like classified but it's just that it doesn't have an Easter. It doesn't have like a main Easter egg. Hmm. And for me, I know a lot of people don't care about it, a main Easter egg, but I love main Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. I really do. And sometimes for a map that makes or breaks it for me and classify doesn't really have one, but even though it doesn't have one, I still like playing it a lot. Yeah. Um, but just not enough as, the other four maps that i put above it okay you know yeah i because we th those are basically the two maps that we had interchanging in our uh four and five uh classified and um ancient evil i like classified uh i i never really even considered there not being an easter egg to be a factor in my decision because i don't i haven't done any of the easter eggs for black ops 4 and mm -hmm. i i I I keep saying I want to do them and I do want to do them. I've been want, I've been procrastinating for a while now. I do it all the time. But I'm going to get to it one day and I feel like once I know all the easter eggs not pretty well um I'm going to probably be disappointed that they didn't do anything for classified, you know, just that little extra something to do when you're done, you know, exploring the map and having fun and getting the high rounds. It's just something more replayability, basically. But um, yeah, yeah, I I like it. It's I like five. It it's got that going for it for me. Yes, I know I am the ultimate normie, but that's that's just how I like my zombies. You know, you might like salt. I like pepper. Okay. Yeah, we What's all have difference? different tastes and different opinions when just... it comes to maps. Yeah, I don't know though. It's just. I like classified. It's fun, and I, I I try to talk zombies with some of my friends, but the only map that they know from Black Ops Four is classified. So it's cool to talk yeah, about. It's a it's a good. I feel like it's a good map to have on launch, um, because you know because it's the simplest map. You know, yeah. Not everybody likes to go around and start building things, and mm -hmm. they don't. You know, most casual player players they don't like that complexity side yeah. of zombies. You know, they just don't. And classified is a nice 
little, you know, it's a nice little mix up. Mm -hmm. You know, you have your your large maps, but then you have classify. That's a lot simpler. Yeah. You know? It's a good uh, map. It's very, very decent. It is. I uh I also I remember earlier in the game's life cycle I had praised it because um or did I? No, I didn't. It was Blood of the Dead that I liked more because it did more with the map that it was, you know, bringing back. But I think now looking back on it, I think it does enough. Like what they bringing us to uh, where was it? Area Fifty One. That was dope. Yeah. That was cool. That was yeah. And was every dope. time I go there, I want to open it all up. I want to be able to run it all around because it's it's a cool feature. And I remember trying to do that when uh moon came out trying to stay in that area and it was just a nice experience you know playing black ops 4 and trying to farm headshots and just being in a comfortable space you know memorable yeah. comfortable space it's it's nice it was nostalgic yeah and Definitely. they played into that very well <laughs> yes yeah. i'm i just i'm just now realizing it i'm a zombies normie i why did it take me no, so long to well, realize this I would say you're in the majority, though. I mean, I know a lot about zombies. I know a lot more than uh, a normal person would, but yeah. put up against uh, a, the, what is it, Reddit community, I'd probably melt. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear God. If you put anybody against the people in the Reddit community, you're going to you're gonna want to kill yourself. <laughs> the Reddit community, man. Uh, that's that's a can of worms. I don't know. I that's, honestly, yeah. I've never even opened it because of only th I I learned of it from people like yo this community is toxic. I'm like, do I want to go check it out? Maybe not. I just let me let me wait it out a little bit. If I get back into zombies, I'll I'll join and see what it's about. Maybe people are just over exaggerating, but just even that leaking over to Twitter is ridiculous oh yes like how how yeah. i didn't think Dude, it was that bad if you if you go into reddit like on a daily basis like it's literally going to affect your mental health <laughs> like it's going to make a huge negative impact on your sanity oh, you know gosh. you're gonna go insane it's just i've I'm interacted with a few that. people on reddit and oh dear god you know what? I'm making a video about it. <laughs> there you yes. go, man. Yes. That's how we bring you back yes. to the zombies community. Now you're going to make a video Let's on the troll the trollers. Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah. And uh, I, here's the thing. I don't want to like shit on every single person that's on Reddit. No, of course you know? not. But it's definitely the most, they're definitely the most vocal ones. Yes. The toxic ones are the most vocal ones. And it's usually. Okay. Yeah, it's usually them who are representing the overall outlook of the community. Yeah, that's true. And it sucks to that say that true. because it shouldn't be that way. Those people shouldn't be the, the loudest people, but they are. They're just so passionate about something that it, it's yeah. not a good passionate. It's not, you know, out of care, lo care and love for the game or you know, the people that play it. It's just... Because that, I mean, games are fucking amazing. They they connect people, they bring people together all over the world. Exactly. And to see something yeah. like this happen, I remember when just sitting there playing zombies, wish I could talk to somebody about it, you know? And then I get online and these people just want to fucking yell at me. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, I feel like chill. People, yeah, I feel like the, I don't know, this is just a hunch. But like, I feel like most most of the people on reddit who are in the zombies community are kids because just like they're teenagers who haven't possibly you know hit puberty yet because <laughs> just by the way they talk you can tell like if you get that upset about somebody saying this map is better than this or this mm -hmm. map is better than that or this game is better than this if you get that upset over something like that it just goes to show you that this person probably doesn't have anything bigger bigger than this to worry about. Yeah. This person probably doesn't have to worry about, you know, having a job, having to pay rent, yep. you know, 
having to go to you know a good they don't university. Have the life you know. stress, the life yeah, stress, they don't... the everyday stress that comes from trying to get shit done. And... Yeah, this is as as big as their world actually gets. Mm-hmm. And it's you know? the the lack of the being able to see the person and how they react to what you're saying. Yeah, I get that. Right. You see, yeah. I wasn't. What my mom, I think she did good with me because I didn't get a phone until I was like. 13 and even then i wasn't on twitter or facebook or instagram until i was like 15 or 16 yeah and now it's like an everyday thing but i i wasn't you know one of those kids and i just can't relate to that i i don't know it's honestly weird. i it's just weird now that you said that um i didn't get an a smartphone until i was uh i think i was i was 19 mm really I'm 24 i'm 24 now you're tw- i didn't get <laughs> did you did i didn't you, well, hold up hold up yeah did you ever tell me that you were 24 i i i did not this is the first time I've, oh my I've ever told gosh anybody. i thought you yeah. were younger than me <laughs> what? no I'm, I'm all this shit dude okay um, so you got your first smartphone when i got my first smartphone at 14 <laughs> yeah no i got my i got an iphone that I had to pay for. Nobody mm-hmm. got it. I had to me. pay for mine too with my birthday yeah. money. <laughs> yeah. So no, like I, I had to like I went to work. Yeah. And save I know. money in like a real job. That was work for me. Saving up enough money. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I see like kids walking around with iPhones. Yeah, better phone than me. Like, bro, yeah, like chill. <laughs> I'm like fucking hell! What the hell happened and to they're, proper and they're parenting? In middle school, yeah, yeah. What see, the fuck is going on? You see, yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. Isn't okay. This a back, back to video? zombies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> back to zombies. Anyways, yeah. the community is. It's just weird to me. It's. It's truly something to experience. <laughs> Cause yeah. I I dip my toes into the the puddle. That had fallen from the pool on the side, and it was acid. I burned my fucking foot off. Yeah, the puddle I, it was yeah. it was acid. So tread with very much caution. But yeah. um, I got a movie I gotta catch soon, and I'm trying sure. to buy and watch Endgame tonight again for like the fifth time. By the way, I'm gonna cry Great again. Movie. I just want to let y'all know that I haven't been able to watch any like longer than one minute clip without crying. And dude i a, i cried problem yeah i watched it and i cried and i don't i do not feel any less you know manly yep. than i cried right next I, to I my girlfriend yeah. i cried right next to my little brother in a crowded theater and we stayed until after we even knew we saw that there weren't any credits and i was like nah baby we gotta sit here for a little bit because i'm still crying like yeah. this is ridiculous i don't know yeah I'm, it I'm is a, I'm a sucker for a, a good, good Marvel ending. <clears throat> but it was it was great. Yeah, it was phenomenal. And Zoe Zaldana gets a round of applause for me for sl- for edging her way into the two top grossing movies back to back. I think like, it's it beat Avatar. It did. Yeah, it did. Mm-hmm. It beat Avatar, right? So now yep. it's the highest grossing movie yes. of all time. She, yes. So, round of applause for yes. the Russo Zaldana. brothers and Disney yeah, and Tony Marvel. Stark and Robert Downey Jr. Even though they're the same person, see, yep. simple-minded people. Anyways, we're gonna end it off here. <laughs> I'm gonna go catch this movie. Arya, you don't have okay. to tell us, but what are you gonna go do? Uh, actually, uh, right now I'm gonna go play the Alpha Omega Gauntlet, and I'm gonna start working on that review. Oh, that's out. Yep, it's already out. I honestly didn't know until yesterday, so yeah, I'm gonna do that now. When did it come out? I don't know. <laughs> I think right. I think with the last update, Tuesday. Right. Okay, so I should yeah. be getting in next Tuesday. Um, yeah, I might try that. I've been playing the Gauntlets too, so that, those are kind of yeah. cool. But yeah, we're gonna end it off here. Thanks for listening, guys. Uh, watching if you're on YouTube, and also again listening if you're also on YouTube because we're only on YouTube. So subscribe. And comment for what you want us to talk about next. Um, yeah, again, thank you for listening. Thank you, Aria, for you know chilling with me, talking with me. Thanks for having me, man. Always yeah. a pleasure. Of course. Um, yeah. Peace.
Peace out.